New York, New York, so nice they named it twice. Cause we the big apple, come take a bite. The Empire State of Mind, we don't think alike. While you sleeping, we awake at night, trying to get the paper right in God we trust. Greed and lust demonstrate Satan's might. Laws the weak, the Quran gives me strength to fight. What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is a sample shopping episode. Just got my latest package uh, from Decan Shop, and I'm going to let you guys know we have enough for six new videos. Lot, lot, lot of niche in this one. Don't actually even know if we have a single designer sent in this haul. So I think about um, 24 or 25, 24 I think, niche fragrances. Uh, you guys know Decan Shop is far and away the best place online to get decants of fragrances, niche fragrances, indie fragrances, discontinued fragrances, designer fragrances. You're not gonna beat the prices and my coupon code MAX12 will save you 12% off your entire order. So you're gonna get those already low as low price is even lower so check decan shop out use my coupon code max 12 we have four uh, fragrances to look at today uh, from decan shop all of these uh, are available from decan shop there's gonna be a few in this one uh, Adriana sent me just some samples she had around two uh, so I'll let you know which of the samples might not be on decan shop but all four of these are and the first one we're gonna take a look at today is from the Armani Privé line and this one is called Ambra Soe now, I like this line. Um, I'd like to get my first scent from them pretty soon. Uh, I was thinking about, first scent from um, the Privé line, I actually do own Armani Code. Uh, I was thinking about Figuier Eden this summer, um, but I smelled that at Bergdorf Goodman. I wasn't too high in it. I'm actually going to grab another little spray of this uh, on my hand right now. Um, so, we looked at a few already from this this line on this show we looked at Boada and Sense a long time ago we looked at Eau de Jade we looked at Rose Alexandra and we've also looked at Aqua de Gio Ascenda uh, I know they recently released a parfum version of ADG which I'm anxious to get my hands on as I said I only do own the one from this house which is code uh, but I do have um, ADG Ascenda uh, one called Armani Attitude and a couple from the Privé line on my at least to check out look so Amber So We came out in 2004. It actually won a few awards. It was composed by the heir apparent at Hermes, uh, Christina Nagel, and notes on it are ginger, amber, patchouli, cloves, and pepper. It's available at our money boutiques and some retail spots, department stores that sell the collection like Bergdorf Goodman. 100 ml is the only size you can get this one and it retails for $260. Um, so I like this one. It is an amber scent through and through. Um, what do I pick out of this one? Well, definitely amber. Um, I definitely am also getting some patchouli and pepper out of this one. Not a bad scent by, by any stretch of the imagination. I just think there are, there are much better amber scents than this one. You know, on the lower end, uh, Ambre Presayou by uh, Maitre Parfumé Gantier. Um, amber Russe, the discontinued, of course, uh, Amber uh, Absolute. Uh, by Tom Ford. You know, this one isn't bad. Um, and for an amber scent, it just isn't enough for me. I just think it's an okay fragrance. I, I wouldn't recommend going out of your way to get this one. Next up, we're going to take a look at one from the House of Olfactive Studio. This one is called Indigo Blue. We're actually going to look at three from Olfactive Studio in this haul. Um, I've heard great things about this one in Panorama, which we'll look at later. Uh, Adriana sent me Chambre Noir a few months ago, and that one just didn't, for me, live up to expectation. Um, I got Still Life with my Twisted Lily order recently. That one's a Yuzu-based scent, and I really liked that one. Not sure if it's bottle-worthy, but it's still good. Still looking for my first bottle uh, from Olfactive Studio. Maybe it'll be this. Notes on this one are Pedigrain, Tuberous, Saffron, and Plum at the top, Vetiver, Papyrus, Olabinum, and leather in the middle, benzoin, ambergris, and musk in the base. This was a 2014 release uh, from Perfume Mylene Alron and NYC. These are available at AIDS de Venustis and New London Pharmacy. Barney's does have these as well. And 50 mLs will run you $145. 100 mLs will go for $195. Really excited to get my nose on this one. Um, I'm going to take a spray of this one as well uh, so I have it with the top note and uh, 
You know, I like this one. This might be the best so far that I have smelled from Olfactor Studio. It's got a really nice plum note in it. Um, it's spicy. Uh, I definitely get benzoin. I get the saffron. My issue with it is that I have a plum scent already that I really like, uh, Plum Japonwa by Tom Ford. And I think I'm good in the plum department. But this one is nice. You know, if I didn't have Plum Japonwa, but I maybe think about this one instead of that, it's possible. Um, it's dark. It's definitely um, got a little bit of florals to it. I definitely get the papyrus, the resins. It's a nice scent. I like it a lot better by, than Chambre Noir, but I'm, I happen to just not love Indigo Blue either. I haven't really found that one from Olfactor Studio that has just blown blown me away. Next up, we're going to take a look at one from the house that is called Mask Milano. This one is called Russian Tea, and this one has gotten a lot of rave reviews of late uh, this was uh on a lot of best of 2014 lists um this is the first fragrance i've ever sniffed from mask milano and this was a house that launched in 2012 uh in new york city you can grab these at twisted lily online lucky scent stocks them and i'm very interested in this house monte cristo uh also got some fanfare that's sort of a cigar scent and tango is another one that's supposed to be pretty good that's a boozy and spicy amber scent this one came out late in 2014 the perfume is julienne rasquinette he did a couple for naomi goodster as well um and notes on this guy are mint black pepper raspberry black tea magnolia immortel leather incense birch and labdanum 100 ml of this will run you 215 dollars um man i really wanted to like this one there's just something about it that I don't want to say it smells synthetic. I, there's just, I definitely get raspberry and mint and tea. But there's just something about this that that I don't love. I don't know. I do kind of like tea notes and fragrances. I really like the, the Bulgari, uh, Bulgari tea fragrances over there. Uh, but I don't know about this one. There's a plastic Eno in this one that would definitely preclude me. Uh, from purchasing it. Not a big fan of Russian tea, unfortunately. Finally this week, we are going to look at one from, oh boy. Well, I'll pick that up in a little bit. One from the House of Man, Sarah, guys. This one is called Wild Root, Wild Root, Wild Rose Oud. I promise you I'm not drunk or anything like that. Uh, just a bit spastic today. So obviously Mansara is pretty closely affiliated with the House of Montal. I think so. Uh, and we've looked at quite a few from the House of Mansara, uh, especially their, uh, qu quite a few from the House of Montal. We've looked at a lot of their oud scents. Um, and we've looked at a few from Mansara as well. Nothing from Mansara that we've looked at on the show really moved me. I owed Owl Black Candy, which is, I think, a really nice licorice scent that's great for spring. And I'm desperately searching for a second bottle from uh, Mansara. I think, and I could be wrong, that in New York these are exclusive to men. Actually, you know what? The, I am wrong. Bergdorf Goodman now, believe it or not, has Mansara as well. Wild Ro Rose Oud came out in 2014. And your notes on this one are bergamot and lemon at the top. Turkish rose, jasmine, and patchouli make up your middle, and the base is going to be amber, musk, oud from Nepal, and vanilla beans. Hundred um, twenty ml bottles retail for one hundred eighty dollars. Um, yeah, so this is oud and rose, um, oud and rose. So I don't know if you ever smelled the scent before that had um, oud and rose, but this one's oud and rose. Uh, what else? Um, not much. Uh, maybe some amber and musk. Uh, it's a very high quality oud. Uh, I think that Montal and Mansara, you know, well, they don't have the best ouds in the world. They do a pretty good job of getting uh, decent oud, but it's it's nothing. It's it's oud and rose. And again, like I can't. I'm just very sick of that combo. If you're looking for your first oud and rose scent, maybe look at this one. Otherwise, I say this one is a pass. So, yeah, guys, obviously not a ton of winners in this one for me, unfortunately. Uh, ranking them, I would still go um, 
uh, indigo blue number one because I think there's a chance you might like it uh, if you like plum. Number two, I think I'd have to go uh, just on quality wild rose food. Number three, the Armani because it's an amber scent that's just not that special. And four, I would actually go Mask Milano. There's just something about Mask Milano that I don't like. I will not be purchasing bottles of any of these, unfortunately. Next week, we're going to look at another four cents. We're going to look at one from the house of Bond number nine, one from another from the house of um, All Fact of Studio. We're going to look at one from the house of Diptyque, and we're going to look at one from the house of Joe Malone. So, guys, that has been this week's uh, episode of Sample Shopping. Please go to decantshop.com. Use that coupon code MAX12. Get 12% of your entire order. Remember, you can also trade in bottles you're not using there for cash or store credit, and you can also purchase decanting. So supplies the web shop website is decantshop.com the coupon code is max12 i'll see you guys again next week with another video my name is max i give listeners great insight the particular way i write is why people say i'm nice like greg and i when meg spit the semi your empire falls like return of the jedi biatch